Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nurul Inaya with ID number 181644-2002 from ICP class So, in this video is my data from subject English Education In this video, I will talk about the summary of naked science, death of the sun Sunrise a daily celestial wonder bring the head and light that keep us alive. We bask in the rays, and yet most of the time we take the sun for granted. We think it's always been there, and expect always will be. Our only worry is sunburn, but the truth is very different. Sun can weigh about or most advanced technology be as powerful as molecular explosion and put out lives at risk. And in the future, as the sun age its glorious energy will become a nightmare, driving humans off the face of the planet, potentially threatening our very survival as a species. Our life on this planet are inextricable link with the sun's life cycle. But how do we know about the sun's life? When it was born and when it will die. The sun is a star, just like those that fill the night some sky. So, looking at other sun rivers personating the tiles about our own sun's life. This is still a nursery around the orange bed. The young star, less than a million years old, are forming here right now, just as our sun did billions of years ago. The sun is falling within what scientists call a molecular cloud. The dust and gets the breeze from hundreds of exploding stars. The molecular cloud is mini, made up of hydrogen, the most common element in the universe gravity draws uh, atoms together. So, that over the course of a million years, the cloud collapses in on itself. Gradually, more and more materials clumps together at the center. It's a bead, like when fire dancer make a circle. Farther away, the fire is from their hands, as slower it rotates. If the dancer nears, the camera makes a tight circle by bringing the fire to the center near her hands. It rotates vaster and vaster and it's the same in the molecular cloud molecule rotate more quickly in the middle which becomes denser and denser until the atoms in the center becomes so packed so compressed they heat up the sun crust together more than 90% of the original molecular cloud. The little bit that's left then from the Earth and the other planets in a disk around the Sun. Most of the Sun is made up of hydrogen, but scientists also expect to find silicon, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, magnesium, and iron among the billion of atoms. They have collect all the elements are made up of a blend of atom called isotope. The planet Earth is uniquely located to benefit from the sun's light and heat and that is vital for life. We are in the temperate or gold love zone. In the solar system, not too hot like Mercury and Venus, and not too cold 
like Mars in steam. It's just right for life to flourish. Today, we rally on the sun for our very survival. It's energy plus trees and planet which are essential for the food chain will depend upon and evaporating water from the ocean to form clouds. The sun supplies us with rain to nourish our crops and fresh water to drink. This energy is great more than 90 million miles away. Of the hertz of the sun a clear engine of temperate in excess of 27 million degrees Fahrenheit of hydrogen clay fused together to create a single helium nucleus. The survivors in the radioactive zone here patterns are bound around by particles of hot hydrogen gas called plasma. This is the sound of the sun zone to allow us to hear the sun voice, scientists feed up the frequency of the sun as a leading pressure with 42,000 times and compress to 40 days of vibrations into just a few seconds. Just like the drum, as the sun age charge, it is destiny pressure and temperate. Because the sun to sing at different pitch, but unlike the drum, which lose pressure as it gets older, the sun pressure increase, making the pitch higher. Scientists calculate at what pitch they will expect the sun to sing out each stage of its life. Finally, they match today's song to toast calculation to find out its current age. In our sandal, in which 6 a.m. marks the birth of the sun, and 6 p.m., it's dead. We are now. Humans have only been around for less than a second. And we are reaping all the benefit of the world until it becomes too dangerous for human life. And even today, during the sun, it already brings many danger that we are only beginning to understand. Using the less optical imaging techniques to see what happening on the surface of the sun scientists are learning about spots, solar flares, and the hurricanes that release into space. The sun warm and like sustain life on Earth, but it can also play a vogue with our modern way of living our world depends more and more on technology, our city, really complex network of power line, and our communication depend on sophisticated satellites. They can all be wiped out by the sun. The Earth magnetic field, a magnetosphere, which protect us from solar wind, is overhead. Usually, it deflects the particle towards its weakest point, the poles. Here they read with oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere to create streams of different colors phenomenon known as the aurora or northern and southern light. The sun experience one of it violet was producing explosion after after explosion northern like appear all over america this time is not the 
power grind that's effective. Sunshine made up ultraviolet light. Too much sunshine can cause sunburn and skin cancer. But the ozone layer protects us by blocking out the most harmful effect of UV radiation and sunblock can do the rest. But there's one place where the type of solar radiation is much harder to protect against. Everyone wants an update and alert starts. It's hard particular for any airlines that fly near and the poles where the only communication is via high frequency radio. During solar storm, high frequency communication can be wiped out, blinding the pilot and risking the lives is passenger free. Say thank you, but if airlines warn, they will reroute of ever ground phones. And it's not just the airlines that fear radio blackouts or the communication system can be Kanauka. Its space satellites have been damaged causing a loss of signal. In a giant TV, in a giant our cell phone stop working. But it's not just electrical damage and the radio blackouts that this storm can cause. They can also increase the risk of radiation. Solar storm radiation is pretendly dangerous for passenger on airplanes. But this radiation presses even greater dangers for astronaut or in space. Finally, on our sun showing the course of the sun, live from its birth at 6 a.m. in the morning and to its death at 6 p.m. Maybe only that can I say. So, thank you for watching and thanks for the attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.